Hello, friends. It's about five minutes after my uh, connection got uh, dropped. I don't know why. I hope you're well. Oh, hi, Joanne. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Just waiting to see who else might be able to join us. Can you hear me okay? I hope you can hear me. I think I think I have sound. Oh, that sound. See who might be able to join us. I'm excited today. We're going to finish up our lace doily journal. Um, and I've been picking out some random things to finish it off with as far as crafts and um, hi, Joan. Hey, thank you. We had such a good time. I actually got some rest and it was quite hot in the first part of the week, but we got lots of thunder showers and it kind of cooled things off some. Not a lot, but enough for us not to be miserable. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, my internet connection booted me off a little while ago, so... I'm hoping everything will be okay. I'm just kind of seeing who might join us. Oh, good. Thank you for telling me. I I, I worry in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to try to tip my camera up a little more. There we go. It might be better. I have some of this... Uh, big embroidered applique. I need a smaller piece, a smaller pair of scissors, I think. Let's see. What do I have? <clears throat> Guess I'll just have to settle for these. Hope you have your cup of tea. Today I put a little cream in my tea. I don't normally um, but I have this one called Good Earth, and it's got all kinds of um, spices in it. I can definitely taste cardamom, but it's it's like really spicy, so I put a little cream in it today. That's one of my favorites. So I'm glad you could both join us, and I'm looking forward to seeing who else might jump in here. Um, it is Sunday afternoon and I'm always excited to come and visit with you and see what your week was like. Yeah, um, I and Joan, you are in the UK, am I correct? Because I heard you guys are having like major heat waves. Unlike anything you're used to. This is a piece of leaf applique and it's embroidered on netting. And I want to roll this into my clay at some point. And I think I'll get a better impression if I cut around the netting. I can also manipulate the leaves 
and move them around a little bit more if I detach them from the netting. So I'm just snipping away on here and chatting with you guys for a couple minutes to see who else might join. Yes, Mary sighed. It's been very overcast here. Oh, so yeah, you welcome the sunshine, I'm sure. So we were gone last week, and um, my biggest concern was that my son would forget to water my garden. But fortunately, he didn't forget. Um, but we got a lot of rain, so now <laughs> you get what you asked for. I think I got too much rain, actually. Oh, you staked your sunflowers today. I bet they're gorgeous. I love sunflowers. They're in my top five when it comes to favorite flowers, that's for sure. Tulips used to be my favorite, but I've been switching to poppies because the, you know how tulips kind of get kind of whimsical and they twist and kind of go different shapes, but uh, poppies do too, and I, I'm really into red poppies right now. No blooms yet. Okay. Well, I'm sure they're coming. Oh, hey, Angie. Welcome. Glad you're here. I'm just chatting and snipping away at this applique while we wait for a few people to join us. And then we're going to finish up our lace doily book. Has anyone by any chance heard from Mary Barrett? I'm concerned because I haven't seen a glimpse of her on YouTube in the last several days. I'm hoping she's okay. We try to chat once in a while in email. So this is that really pretty leaf applique. I really love it. And I'm just nipping all that netting away as much of it as I can. We had thunder showers today. It sounded so nice outside. Real gentle ones though, nothing like scary. Yeah, I hope she's well too. Like I said, it would be nice to know she's on some exotic island somewhere enjoying uh, tropical drinks and beautiful, you know, sunshine. Let's hope. Let's hope it's all good. Ah, oh, you got sunshine today too. Good. Sunshine is so good for the soul. And I know if you live like I grew up in Wisconsin where you could go 10 days or more with no sunshine was not good, especially if you've got that seasonal, I think it's called seasonal affective or defective disorder. I don't remember what it's called, but it's when people just really get in the dumps because they need that sunshine. But I think it can happen to all of us at some point if you don't get enough sunshine. And Angie, you have that gorgeous yard with a hot tub and all the reasons to want to be outside. They were predicting really hot temperatures for us, but Every time I go back and check, it's never really getting as hot as they said, which for me is wonderful because I really don't like the heat. The gardens forced me out into it, though, so it's making me get a little more used to it. Usually I just hide inside and in the air conditioning. <laughs> but last week, we just had the best time. We went to the summer camp I grew up going to. Um, we hadn't been back in a long time because, like I said, camp isn't really my husband's favorite thing. But he was so kind to say, if you want to go, let's go. So we went and took my youngest son, 
who's 17, and we had the best time. They It was called Family Camp, and it is a Bible camp, but um, they just have the best activities, and I didn't realize how much I was going to enjoy not having to prepare meals. I kind of forgot, and they made awesome food. I'm not used to getting three meals a day, you know, if I want. And that was really, really nice. I reacquainted with old friends from 30 plus years ago that went to camp with me and were there. My son got to go tubing and I rode in the speedboat and, you know, cool, stayed cool in the lake, just floating on an inner tube and they have beautiful scenery there. We went in the woods and um, went foraging for different things. I just was so happy to be back. I didn't know how I'd feel going back. Had mixed feelings about it, but it all ended up being a really worthwhile trip. It was only a six-hour drive, and sometimes even the drive can be, you know, relaxing and part of the vacation, so... It was fun to stop at different roadside places and you drive through the mountains. We had a ball, we really did. So the heat's back on for you guys tomorrow and I think you said Louisville, right? Well, we almost made it to Louisville because my husband's sister lives in Louisville and we had to cut that part out of the trip because we weren't going to end up with enough time. Um, but I think we're going to go that way in the early fall. My aunt, my aunt lives there and she's going to be, well, yeah, I think her birthday is August 2nd. She's going to be 90. So I'm thinking we're going to get to go see her and Mark's sister. Well, hello, welcome. Don't tell me. Okay, the messy crafter is Lori. Am I right? I want to make sure. I'm enjoying getting to know you guys, and I want to. I want you to feel welcome. <laughs> Heat starts on Monday. Oh, good. I got it right, you guys. This is Lori. Anybody else have their tea? Oh, that's yummy. Well, I've chatted and I snipped away as much of the um, the netting that I was hoping to get off of this piece, but that's actually for a clay project. So let's dive in. And while you guys chat among yourselves, feel free. I want to finish our journal, and I'm so excited that um, you've been with me to create these pages, and we finally made it to the front and the back, and I'm going to continue on using my Fabri-Tac. I took some, okay, so at the very last minute, I wasn't going to take any crafting with me to camp. They have a whole craft room there and you can go in and kind of rummage through and create whatever you want to create. But I decided at the last minute to throw some stuff in a bag. And then when I got there, I ended up using a whole bunch of my glue because there were people that I wasn't expecting to see. So I created some pretty vintage tags um, to give them with my information on the back. And so I was like feverishly crafting in between time, <laughs> but it was actually really fun. And I was able to give them pretty tags with my address and things on it. So I have, I don't know if you can see, let me move it into the camera. I have my little tray filled with laces. And this is one that I thought would be pretty it's old vintage trim and it's avocado dyed. And I think I'm gonna use this first. Let me move it so you can see. 
it's a little, I don't know, the word. It's not in the pristine condition, but it's so pretty. I love the thickness of the, um, the quality of the, the trim. So this, is this the back? Yeah, this is the back. Remember our crazy pink pages from last week? <laughs> So this is some avocado dyed cotton lace, and I'm going to just trim the bottom with this, but I'm going to be doing a lot of layering. Oh, really? I didn't know that, Joanne. It comes in a spray now. Well, I'm actually about to go to Michael's after this. It's Sunday. I don't usually go on Sunday, but I start teaching my pottery classes again on Tuesday. And I want to do a sample piece, and they actually have their 40% off coupon back. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing. They used to always have one. So did Hobby Lobby. And then they got rid of them. And then Michaels started to only do 20% off. But today I see that there's still a 40% off. So I got to run and grab some more Fabri-Tac and some foam sheets because we're gonna make templates out of foam. Um, so when I go get my Fabri-Tac, I'll see if I can find the spray kind. That'd be cool. We did that uh, tag, the crafters tag once, and one of the questions was your favorite craft items or what items you couldn't live without. And I am definitely glue and scissors. And I know I, sh I can hear Mary Barrett in, my, in the back of my mind saying, you have to have good scissors. And she's right. Um, I should stop wasting the money on so many pair of cheap scissors and just invest in some really good ones that I can have sharpened. But I don't listen to myself. And I just keep buying the Fiskars that are like 50% off. But then I end up using them for paper and fabric, or I'll snip something that has glue. And I'm telling you, glue really does your scissors in. It takes all the sharpness away. So one of these days I'll listen <laughs> and get some scissors that aren't going to be dull in two weeks. So let me put... So right now, my effort is to get some good dangles, because if you can see this back page, it has nothing up here yet. And so i got to trim out that top edge here. Let me get it a little straighter. I don't know why this looks so cockamamie. Um, hmm, what do I want to put up here? Whatever I put up here, I need it to go all the way around. And it doesn't have to necessarily be um, you know, long. So I'm going to put all different kinds of trims. Like I thought about putting this one on the spine because it's got the same border on each side. So I think I'm going to put this piece on the spine. Oh, you saw it last night on a live. Okay, well, they may have it at our store by now. This is a really pretty dangle trim that I picked up from Joann's. And it, I may have shown this in a, a haul video. But it's got like little dots for dangles. And I meant to dump this in a little bit of tea. As a matter of fact, you guys, I'll be right back. I hope nothing happens to the camera. I'm going to grab a little bit of coffee and show you how I quickly dye some. Oh, well, I was going to. I don't really have any coffee in here. Darn. Hmm. I can make a little instant. Be right there, don't go away. Yeah. 
Okay, you guys, I'm back. So when I have some um, lace and it's not quite tea dyed enough for me, it's too white. So this is a little commercial too. <laughs> I, um, I bought this Starbucks instant coffee back when my mom was sick and we were going back and forth to care for her. She doesn't really drink coffee. Um, and we did have a coffee maker, but my sister and I decided we would try the Starbucks instant coffee. And I'm really sort of a coffee snob and I don't like instant coffee, but if you want something that's as close to real tasting br brewed coffee, Starbucks makes a good one. I don't typically drink Starbucks because it can be kind of bitter, um, but this one is really good and it's going to help me. So I just poured some, my tea water was hot. So I just put some in a cup. And I hope this doesn't make it too dark, but all you do is just, let me see if I have something to scoop it out before I put it in there. Um, let me grab a tool here. Oh, my tool, my clay kit. Which one shall I use? Okay, I'll just use this one. Okay, so I'm just going to dunk this in really quick. Oh, that did really well. Okay. And then I just grab paper towel and squeeze it. I'll move this so I don't get it dirty. Oh, it smells really good. And then it dries really fast if you squeeze it in the paper towel. And now I just took that harsh, bright color off just that fast. And there's no sugar or anything in this coffee. So it's not going to cause it to, you know, get sticky or go bad or anything. But I just wanted to show you how I quickly, usually what I do is if I have any drips of coffee left in my coffee pot, from the morning, um, I'll just throw it in there. But I think my husband rinsed it out already. Well, it is late afternoon. Okay, so this is another piece. It's just some applique, but I don't like how white it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk it in there. And sometimes the polyester ones don't really dye as well. Oh, that one did really well. Can you see that? And you just give it a squeeze and it takes out a lot of the excess color too. And then if I choose to use it before this is all said and done, it'll actually be dry enough to glue down. So it never has to be a big production to tea dye anything. You can make it that way. You can just get all your things ready and do a big batch but if you ever just need a little batch it's doable because now this piece of applique is tea dyed or coffee dyed and squeezing it out does take a lot of the coffee smell out too see you think sugar water was used oh my can you imagine I'm always like, I'm such a bug -a -phobe, I would think ants would come after it <laughs> or something. Anyway, I squeezed it out and now I really like it so much more than with that bright white color. But I tend to order my laces in white and that way I can color them any color I want. And it's usually tea dyed or um, avocado dyed. Sometimes I'll do green. Okay, so back to our journal. Use my Starbucks. Oh, no, I don't think that shows how old you are. But I have to say, when I went back to camp last week, and some of the people that I love so dearly, they were there when I was growing up and really had a major influence on me. Um, they're all passing away. There's a graveyard there, a cemetery. And so I was able to visit the cemetery and just 
those that have passed on. So going there is sometimes bittersweet because you you realize some of the treasured people that are no longer there. Um, so I uh, was able to see the, the, the founder of that camp. This is a very, to me, amazing story was a man from Jamaica. Um, his name was, I forgot his first name, but his last name is Nash. And he was very burdened for the kids that weren't allowed to go to camp because they were African-American in the 1940s. Um, uh, and he partnered with another man from Northern, from Michigan, um, and they started a camp so that African American children could go to camp. And there's a lot of really wonderful stories along with that. It's called Sedine uh, Ministries, and I happen to be one of the kids that got to go there. But then I also worked there many, many summers and got opportunities I probably would have never gotten growing up in the city. So we rode horses and canoed and went overnight camping and hiking. And I was a lifeguard for six years on the lake. And a lot of the kids that I went to camp with um, were the same situation. We were city kids, but we were given a camp where we could feel like it was our place to do all the wonderful outdoor things that I don't know if all kids love it, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And so I was able to see my son run around and have fun. It was great. Can you use food dye? Um, you can. You just want to make sure that it's not going to get wet because I do think you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think it could bleed. Like if something were to get your journal wet, it might bleed onto other things. But I've seen people dye paper and stuff with food gel, the, the colored gel. What is, is that what it is? Um, the gel dyes. Yeah. You know what? I put that on there, but I was thinking about adding another one. No, it's too long. I like to grade eight up shorter, let's see, because this is going to be my highlight one that I put on. So let's put a shorter one like this one. On top of that one, and I'll pull it up a little bit. You guys let me know if you're not seeing this well enough. I'll try to get in frame better. Yeah, my glue is at the danger zone. I don't like to ever get this low. <laughs> I do have another bottle somewhere, but it's only got about the same amount in there. So time to stock up on the Fabri-Tac. And when you use your 40% off coupon, it really helps because it's almost like you can buy one uh, you can buy two almost for the price of one. Not quite. I know Ruby, who hasn't really been a, um, on YouTube in a while, but she uses the pink food gel and dyes her paper pink. She might dye fabric, too. Um and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but I think you can use the alcohol dyes for fabric. I think I've done that before. Okay, so I've layered this one now with this pretty pink and then this one. And then up top, I'm going to put more of this one but I'm not gonna put any of the pink, I don't think. Do I have enough of it? Hmm. No, I don't have enough of this one to put up there. So we'll just put 
this one up top, kind of letting it crown the top. So what are you guys working on lately? Anybody crafting anything special right now? I know it's the time of year where we're really enjoying just being able to be outside. I hope. I'm going to put it so that the scallops are pointing up so that um, let me tip this forward so maybe you can see it better so that it'll have a little bit of length in the back on that back page where it looks kind of short. I might have probably done better to put an even longer one there. Remember this one with the Swiss dots? I think, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to put this on, but I want to put the Swiss dots on first. You guys, I've been so... Um, encouraged by you showing up on the lives. You know who else I've been missing? And she might pop in today. Uh, Shaz. Let's hope we can hear from Shaz. I don't want people to ever feel like you have to be here on my live. But I do think I get kind of concerned when I know they normally come and then I don't hear from them. So, I mean, I'm not it's absolutely fine if they choose not to watch for whatever reason. But I do get a little attached. <laughs> You're gathering things together. I'm going to try a vintage thing. Oh, this isn't on the professional level, if you ask me. You guys know, like Maggie White, I've learned a lot from her doily books in the past and I used to love watching Trisha at Little Shabby Chic. I know she stopped making videos quite a while ago. Um, it's just kind of sad to me when people stop but you know of course that's their prerogative and life goes on and things get in the way or you just choose not to do them anymore. I haven't seen Laquita in several months. I don't think I've seen Olivia Hernandez in several months. And these are just people that I started out watching um, and have interacted with as far as challenges and giveaways and things like that. So when they go away, I feel like my friends are gone. <laughs> like, oh, I know that sounds pathetic, but I really do call them my crafty friends, just like you guys. So if they pop back on, I'll be right there with bells on, ready to watch. Um, and some of you might be in like swap groups that you might want to share. I found those really fun. Um, you know, getting on a crafting group where they do like swaps and challenges and giveaways and those are fun to join in on. I haven't found one that I felt like joining in on in a while. Maybe I will over once fall gets here. I like to do Christmas journals and things related to crafting around the holiday. I actually just ordered some Christmas cards today from that website called Current, C-U-R-R-E-N-T. They have free shipping. And for the first time in a long time, I'm going to go ahead and do Christmas cards this year because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, so now I have this trim going upward with this one. And then I'm going to do the edge. Oh, that came off. Oops, oops, oops. But you can see now that I put that on, it makes this page not look so short. Actually, it might be pretty to add another one. We'll think about that later. We're going to do um, some little touch-ups and add-ons next week to finish it off 
today I'm just going to do the front and back cover. Um, and you know, I think I have just enough of this one to go ahead and put it right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, good. You guys encourage me when I hear you say you're going to do your first journal. I should pull out my first journal. It's hilarious. It looks like a big pillow. <laughs> I just didn't really. I just dove in and started sticking stuff on. And I'm not necessarily ashamed of it. I think it was okay for my first try. But at the same time... I feel like I wouldn't ever, you know, sell it or anything. It'll just always be my little keepsake reminder of my first attempt of a lace journal. And since then, from watching other crafters and learning different methods, I've found a way to make it so that I like them a little better. But I'll pull it out maybe and show it to you next week um, and I know some people will say oh what's wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it but at the same time you you kind of know as the crafter why it's not necessarily your favorite I feel I always feel like I'm maybe cheating by gluing because there's so many crafters that stitch every bit of their lace journal I just don't think I can do that. But it does make them more professional looking. I don't know, maybe not. Sometimes you can't even really tell. That's what I think. Okay. So there's that. So this is really a fun time for me to just visit with you guys and tune out all the bad news that's going on around the world. So anybody out there, if you're peeking in and watching us, we'd love to know you're here. We're a safe place to just visit. If you feel like chatting among yourselves while I'm crafting, I, perf I understand because it's probably not that entertaining. Okay, so now I have this um it's sort of a is it satin kind of threaded piece of doily and I want to make this a back pocket and I'm going to fold it over and put some lace trim on that oh cool you got I love going to charity shops I really need to stop back by that one where the lady sells it by the baggie full. It's like the size of a sandwich baggie, and you can stuff it full for a dollar a baggie. I don't know, unless inflation has hit her as well. <laughs> um, but I keep saying I'm going to stop in there, but I kind of go that way when I go to work. So one of these days when I'm not exhausted afterwards, I might stop by there. I'm going to fold this over. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Joan. Yeah, we had our, it's a busy month, June is, because we have our, our wedding anniversary is in June. My birthday is in June. Uh, Father's Day is in June. And then May, Mother's Day. And so I feel like we just go from one celebration to another to another. And then July, we get a little break, except for the 4th of July. And then August, there's another birthday, my husband, and we get another break. I think after August, it kind of calms down a little bit. Thank you, Lori. I'm looking forward to you guys seeing the finished product because this has really been fun to craft along with you. So in here, I was thinking about using, so because this is the back of the journal, I decided not to get anything, put anything on the back that might be too, like, 
blingy because I didn't want it to um, scratch if it's like laying on a table. But look at this pretty piece here. I'm going to layer that one on top. So here's our pocket. And it'll stick down nicely in a minute. And then I'm going to, oops, see when your Fabri-Tac starts to run out. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but it starts to ooze out. Hey, I haven't seen Debbie today. I want to ask her how her Christmas in July sale went. Were any of you able to catch it? We were traveling and our internet was horrible going through the mountains. And then once we got to camp, it was horrible. We couldn't really get, I guess you don't really go to camp to stay on the internet, but we tried. <laughs> I just couldn't get mine to stay connected. It kept losing the connection. But there, now I've got this pretty edge here. And then I think that middle piece definitely lends it to itself to some kind of applique. But I think it needs to be soft again because it's the back. And then maybe, I don't know if I should put that. Thank you, Joanne. I love this doily. I knew I was going to love that. I'm going to put this glue on here. It's stuck to my finger. So I have my little jar of bling. So let's hunt through here and see what we can put on it. That might be pretty for a little bit of contrast. Oh, I forgot. These are pretty. It's hard not to put something, you know, blingy on the back. Um, I do like these flat backs. Let me snip this apart. Okay. So I have these. I wonder if it'll go all the way across. Let me see. Not quite, but that's okay. Still be nice and flat. Um, I don't think I'm ready to do that trim yet. You guys, do you like this? Uh, everyone seems to love this uh, rose or uh, little flower bud trim. I know I do. Wondering if I should put that there. Do you like that one? I also like this one. There's just so many possibilities. Um, hmm. Well, let's go put my highlight trim on, which is this one. I can't get enough of this one. This is my highlight trim for the top and bottom it's going to give us a pop of color and it's also going to tie it together with the um pink that's on the inside of the journal because i like to kind of give a sneak peek of colors and theme that you'll see on the inside by looking at the cover so I'm going to stick this beautiful, I don't even know what kind of lace you would call it. And I don't know which one would be considered the top or the bottom. I think we'll put, put it this way. Oh, wait, but that's backwards. There we go. Not that you couldn't do it backwards. It might mute the colors down a little bit. But I'm going to keep it on the brighter side. Uh-oh. I totally covered up that layer so let's move it up a little bit more there we go we'll just lay the pocket right over that because it is the back so it's okay so I've got that on oh this is the fun of doing these journals, is if you love lace trim, you can just go wild, layering and layering. And like I said, I used to get kind of nervous about using my stash. 
But now I just go at it with wild abandon. Um, okay, so I've got that there. Thank you. And like I said, this one I ordered from AliExpress. Trying to give AliExpress another chance, but I probably won't order from them again for quite a while because it just was a bit of an ordeal. Okay, so I've got that one. And this is a little long, but I'm going to leave it for now just to see where I might need to trim that off. I love how it kind of branches off like that. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing up top. I'm just going to get my glue on here. My son got this amazing photo of a lightning strike on the lake. It was incredible. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't right now. So this, I think we decided is the top. But you know what? I love that it looks like the branches are dangling down. So I'm going to turn it the other way for up here. And I am going to extend it over a little bit because I'm not sure how much I'll trim off later. Oh, you know what? I was going to put a pretty piece of lace down the spine. I think I still can. If you hear any bumping, it's my son, and he's getting ready to go to youth group. They're having a, a wild water day outside. Where they're going to do all kinds of water games. He's quite the loner, and he likes to stay in his room and play video games. So I have to kind of force him out to do different activities because he needs the interaction. And then when he goes, he comes home smiling from ear to ear, glad that he went. So I guess if he was miserable, I wouldn't make him go, but he's not. Oops. Okay. A little more glue there. Oh, that lace just makes me so happy. <laughs> Uh-oh, you guys. Did I do it upside down? Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I put the pocket on the front. Okay, that's the beauty of Fabri-Tac. We can take it right off and actually let it dry a little bit. And Did you see me do that big blunder right in front of God and everybody? Oh, well. Okay, so this is the back. This is where the pocket's supposed to go. And that might have been a blessing in disguise because I wanted to move it up a little bit higher anyway. So let's redo it and put it up a little bit higher. Like so. I wish you all lived closer so we could all hit the craft stores together. Wouldn't that be fun? It might actually be dangerous. <laughs> the craft stores and the thrift stores are just my favorite happy places. Okay solve that problem. Okay, so the pocket is now where it's supposed to be, which is the back, but I need to put a little trim here, and I think I'm going to use just a simple little crochet trim. Let me see if I can find it. Um, the one I wanted, I don't see. I was just going to use this real common one. But it's not long enough. Let me see. Hang in there, guys. I need a sip of my tea. I'm going to show you another thing that I do. I don't know if I told you guys this. But if I can pull this over here and show you. This is a potpourri warmer. Do you guys know these? 
excuse me, it's a little bit splashed, but I set my teacup on it. Keeps my tea warm. And I found that at Hobby Lobby years ago for $5. And it's the best tea warmer. I think, of course, they sell tea warmers. But um, just trying to find a piece of trim that I'm going to like. Ooh, I like that one. Let's do that. So pull this over. Pull this over. And we'll put that one right here. So if you guys communicate with any of our crafting friends that we normally see on the live, please tell them I've missed them. And if you have any other friends that might like to join us, just let them know Carla's here live at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Sunday afternoon. And they are more than welcome to join us. Oh, I know who else I've been very concerned about. And that's the queen. Bye, guys. Um, Jacqueline Haley, please tell me she's okay. I haven't heard from her either. And I know she had a health scare a while back. And I had been praying for her health. So, you know, I guess you just get a little attached and it causes concern when you don't hear from some people. Lori, I actually do have an Etsy shop. I actually put it on vacation because I was getting overwhelmed. And the good reason was I sold almost everything in my Etsy shop, but I was feeling overwhelmed with restocking it. I didn't want to just create stuff just to make sure I had stuff in my Etsy shop. I wanted to create things that were worthy of being in my Etsy shop. And sometimes when I create just to sell it, I don't feel like my heart's really in it. I like to create for the love of creating. And then later on, I decide if I'm going to sell it or not. But my Etsy shop is KC Creates with Lace. I'll actually type it in here for you. KC Creates with Lace on Etsy. So that's my Etsy. And so if you go to it right now, it'll say this shop is on, or Carla's on vacation. I can't remember what the what the message is, but I will be back. I just don't like to keep one or two items in there and nothing else. So I have I have an idea for the back, but let's go ahead and put that little piece that I wanted on the spine. Before I lose it, here it is. So I'm going to try to turn it so you can see. Um, it doesn't really need to be very long. So we'll put some glue. I like this trim because you can pull it back. You could probably even tuck things under it. I'm going to need to leave this upside down in order to keep the glue flowing. I should have grabbed the other partial bottle, but I didn't. It's been so cloudy out today that I can't really keep a gauge on what time it is. But um, it's just about 5. I think it is 5 now here in South Carolina. And I don't like to go much longer than an hour. If you can hang with me, I think I'll still be able to finish the front. And then next week, I'd like to just go in. Thank you, Angie. I have had a wonderful blessing of 
just happening upon different laces. And then I did that little short stint of a design team uh, affiliate with, uh, what is it? Craft Supplies for You. And she had some beautiful laces that I was able to get at discounted prices. And I think this is actually one of them. Um, so my stash that when I first started crafting, I thought I hardly had any, and now my stash has turned into so many that I love. Okay, so this is now, just want to make sure I'm working the right direction, I am. So now this is the front, and the picture that I was thinking of putting, I kind of want to keep, this is a real pink hue, and she's just sitting at her table reading a book. Um, and I don't know. I've got a bunch of little uh, sentiments and tags and some bling and things that I want to add to the actual pages on the inside. I feel like there's some the, the inside pages need a little atten little more attention. Oh, don't have lace envy. As a matter of fact, I just feel like I need to be sending some of this stuff to you guys. And as um, a thank you for joining my lives, I do want to send happy mail. That is on my agenda. And my goal is to do it before the summer is out. Um, so, you know, I'm actually going to ask you guys if I don't have your address, like Joanne and Joan, um, Lori, I'll leave my email address in the description box. And I would love to keep all of your addresses handy. Just in case a little happy mail um, could be coming your way. And in the email that you send me, can you just tell me the theme that you like as far as crafting? whether it's shabby chic, vintage, Victorian. I don't have a lot of steampunk, but I do have a little, if that's one of the themes you like. But that's what I'm going to ask of you, is if you would, um, sometime after this live, get my email and email me and just give me your name, your if you want to, of course, you don't have to your name, your address, and maybe your birth date, and the type of crafting that you like most. Because I do have a lot of stash. I tried actually doing little de-stash sales where I put together junk journal stuff and sold it as a kit. It didn't go over very well. And honestly, I don't mind just giving it away because I just want to get some of my stash a little better organized. And I don't have space for all this jazz. So I'm going to put this pretty lady on. I like the pink hue in her dress. So we're going to use her. And I backed it with felt because I like for it to have a little bit of padding be a little plush and typically I will stitch around these but today I'm not going to oh you're going to family holiday oh I'm with you Angie I'll miss you though because you're like one of my faithful uh followers but I would much rather see you get to go have a wonderful vacation with your family that's got to be exciting. Thanks for letting us know because I would have worried about you. <laughs> so I'm glad. That's awesome. Are you going anywhere far? Let's see. I want to trim around here. I'm always happy when people get to have a getaway. I know how special it was for us. We needed it more than we knew. You're off to sunny Cyprus. Oh my goodness. 
That's going to be awesome. You'll have to tell us all about it. I hope you have a wonderful time because I know a lot of people haven't really been able to get anywhere um, far since COVID. Some people are just getting their first time away. So I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time. I'm just going to trim off this image and then we'll pick up where we left off. Yeah, enjoy the beach, enjoy the sunny weather, shop, eat, rest, do everything you can to make it a great time. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna put? You know, I when I teed, coffee dyed this, I wasn't sure if I'd use it, but I really like it. I'm gonna put a little more trim around the image. Yeah, this one. Keep forgetting to, to leave my glue bottle upside down and it's slowing me down here. I'm just worried of keeping you guys too long. Yes, it has been a challenging year for you, my friend. Life has always got its challenges. That's why if you're blessed to be able to get away, you should go. Yes, get in the pool and forget all your troubles. And that's another thing I learned. I don't know if you agree with me, Joanne, but if anybody else is here from the States, um, we don't know how to take vacations like the Europeans do. You guys know how to take a vacation. We just kind of do a week here or a long weekend. But I remember when I was in France in August, they basically shut the whole city down in Paris. Like August, you really don't get to do a whole lot because people are on what they call holiday. Um, and a lot of things are closed. I wasn't there in August, but I was there can't remember when it was, but it was another one of those times when there wasn't a whole lot open. And our culture needs to really appreciate family time, vacation time. Now, there are some that really do get away, but I know a lot of times people can't even get enough time off of work to get away. And I think it's something we're missing. You can even do staycations where you kind of stay around home and just do things that you don't normally do in your own city. That's a good idea too. Okay, so I'm trying to put on this pretty, it's like organza ribbon with pearls. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Let's see, did I make that too long? No. And then the same thing across the bottom. rather make it too long than too short. Add another drop of glue. I don't know if it was the um, fresh air and being so active, but even my son mentioned how he was dreaming a lot more at night. And I know I was, and I still am. It's funny. It's like did something to my brain. I'm having all these vivid dreams. It was a lot of much needed activity and exercise. I need to teach myself to sit and be still. And I have to say this little break from work has been really good for me. I'm actually returning to work feeling rested. 
And that's saying a lot for this girl. Um, I'm going to glue down this applique now. And I think I might stop there for the week. And even though you won't be with us next week, Angie, you pretty much you'll pretty much see. Uh, this is pretty much all I'm gonna do. Um, maybe a few little touches here and there, and then um, I'll introduce the new project for the next coming weeks. So I put that there. I like that. Um, and if you have any ideas of things you might like to see next. I think what I'll do is do a few tags and then we can put those on the inside. Um, I might put like a, a highlight flower somewhere on the cover, but right now I don't know exactly what I wanna put. So I won't put anything because I, I don't wanna just throw anything on there for the sake of throwing it on there. And when I see you again, <laughs> I'll have a fresh new bottle of Fabri-Tac. That'll make me happy. So anything anybody want to tell us or share with us before we go? I don't want to. Anybody have any sales or uh, challenges, swaps, anything along those lines? These are really pretty pink pearls, um, but I don't. I don't see a space for them. And so I'm going to just leave it as is. Let's do a quick flip through now as far. Oh, wait, I know I wanted to put, you know what we'll do on the back there. I'm going to, let me see if I can find it. I snipped off a little bit of the, what I was calling the highlight trim. I want to put a piece right there in the middle. I guess we'll have to do that later because I can't, I can't find a small enough piece to go right there. It would be pretty if I had something pink, like a pink. No, I don't like that. Okay, I think that means it's time to quit and walk away until some fresh ideas come. But this is the back and this is a pocket. And I'll try to get it all in frame as best I can. <laughs> I love when you say that, Angie, that cracks me up. My fairy dust, my magic Carla dust. <laughs> That's so funny. I'd like to think so. So here's our image of the lady, the le le leisurely lady reading in her beautiful, pretty pink dress. Here's the spine. And then again, these are the first two pages. Let me try to get it a little straighter. Oh, I did hear from Jeannie Dream where you guys, I know she hasn't put a video up in a while, but she's okay. She commented on one of my videos not long ago. I was so happy to hear from her. So here's a pocket with some really pretty vintage tatting. Here's the next two with the lady in her floral bouquet. And another pocket. And then the pretty pinks with dangle trim. And belly band. The little vintage doily notebook with the tea dyed paper. Thank you, somebody else said that would make a great wedding gift. And all I keep thinking about is my niece who's about to get married and I wonder if she would like one. I might make one for her. Here's our little tea pocket. I have a little sentiment that says tea time in here. Thought about adding that. Of course, I can't find it now. I have the one. Oh, maybe I didn't cut that one out. 